tons of military officers all around. I would say about 80% of the people there were military officers. And then they had a small amount of healthcare workers working there to help administer with the vaccinations. They had workers behind desks. Um, everything was very well organized. When I got there, um, they checked me in and they gave me a specific number and, and had me go right to a uh, desk where they asked me some questions about my personal medical history. After that, they brought me over to the healthcare uh, facility area where I sat down and there was a nurse there, a nurse practitioner, and she um, asked me a couple of questions um, to see if I had COVID previously, if I had any allergic reactions to anything. And um, after I answered all the questions and gone over everything with her, she had given me the shot. And then they put me in an area to sit down and relax for about 15 minutes so they can watch to make sure everything was okay, to make sure I didn't have any reactions. And uh, after that, they let me go. So as I left, um, I was fine. And I noticed I started feeling a little fatigue. And when I got home, I, was, I wasn't a very fatigued, but I was just like slightly fatigued. So I took a nap for about an hour. When I got up, I felt a lot better. And probably that fatigueness kind of carried with me throughout the night. It wasn't, I wasn't, uh, it wasn't chronic fatigue where I couldn't, I felt like I couldn't do anything. I actually, it didn't even, I didn't have much of any side effects except for the slight fatigueness. And then probably about eight hours later, uh, before I went to bed, I noticed that my arm started to feel a little sore where they stuck me. Um, and my started to get a little bit of swollenness and um, stiffness in my arm. And it wasn't unbearable, but you could definitely feel the, uh, the swollenness and the, uh, and the, uh, the uh, little soreness in the arm. It was probably from here to here where I felt it. It didn't go down my entire arm, just the upper arm felt a little bit sore. And then um, I went to bed and I didn't have any trouble sleeping that night. And when I woke up, I noticed that the soreness was still there, but it was a lot less. And as the day went on, the, uh, the soreness and, uh, started to decrease significantly. And, the, um, and my arm felt really back to normal. And right now my arm is pretty much normal. I barely feel anything in my arm that is uh, any swell. I don't have no, no more swellingness. I, have, I don't feel fatigue. I just feel back to my normal self and it's been about 24 hours right now so it probably took me you know i would say a good 24 hours to get fully back to my old self but i really didn't see many changes in the way i was feeling so for me i i didn't feel uh much of anything and for my epilepsy you know the big concern was i was nervous when i when i got the vaccine if it was going to interfere with my medication or could it caused me to have seizures and it didn't. I felt fine. I didn't feel any stress um, and uh, it didn't affect my seizures or my epilepsy in any way. And uh, you know, I would, for me, it worked very well. I had the Pfizer vaccine. Um, also, you know, I went over a lot of uh, information with them and you know, the Pfizer vaccine and Modena are basically the same vaccine. Um, they do the same thing and there's no better one. So if you get an option to use one or the other, you know, I say go for it, you know, in my own opinion, but uh, this is your choice. But I, for me, the, the vaccination uh, worked well. I didn't get any major side effects at all. Everything was extremely slight and it, it didn't take very long for my body to go back to its original self. And I can go back and get the next, um, vaccination, the shot two in three weeks. And, uh, and that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to um, make any comments or questions in the uh, comment box. I'll answer, you know, is uh, best to my ability, um, any questions that you might have. And uh, thank you so much for listening to this video.